G'day guys, so um, after the first uh, little video I put up there about uh, Fresh Choice Waimaku um, that same night, a couple of nights ago, the wife said to me well why don't you just send a nicely phrased worded email to them um, to bring it to their attention because the Privacy Commission says you must contact the uh, business directly and before they can get involved so so she said don't send a legal letter because she knows what I'm like and so anyway the you know um, after coming back from what I'm going to show you shortly when I go down to press choice after coming back um, I said to the missus I says you won't believe it and um, I explained what had happened and she said to me well did you send them an email and I went yeah and she goes was it a legal one and of course I had to lower my head and go yes dear <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> but it's the only way I know how to send them these days so and all the points she told me how I should have sent it are in this so I didn't not do what she wanted Anyway, this is what I sent them. So, as you can see, this is the email I sent. Um, as you can see, it's called Practical Ways of Collecting and Storing. I sent it on uh, the September the 25th at quarter past 11, so a couple of days ago. And um, I sent it to Waimaku FC Online, which is them. All right. And it goes as follows. Greetings. I live local to Waimaku and I notice that you keep a sign-in register for persons that cannot or do not use the COVID-19 Tracer app and have done so since the beginning of COVID-19 tracing. Um, by doing so, you are breaching many of your patrons' personal information as it is a forward-facing and viewable to the public. Um, I visited the Privacy Commissioner's website to investigate further and discovered guidance from them stating before they can accept a complaint, the complainant must first attempt to bring their concerns to the company or organisation seeking resolution directly. Hence this email. While on their site, and I supply the site, under the heading Practical Ways of Collecting and Storing, I would quote this passage. And yes, I put it in big ass bold red writing just to get the point through. Do not use an open sheet registry, a register left in public facing positions where personal information is viewable to others. This is a leading cause hmm, of COVID-19 related privacy breaches. So you may notice that just up the road at Silverfern Pharmacy, Robbie has a ballot box, which he does as suggested on the above link supplied. It's actually one of their suggestions at the Privacy Commission. Um, common sense would suggest this is far more effective way of ensuring your business maintains every customer's private information is secure and not visible to the public, which it currently is. Attached is a photo which was taken of the sign-in register to illustrate how simple it would be for dozens of your customers' personal information to be obtained, which was sought for evidential purposes should it be required in future. Please see that this continuous breach of private individuals' information is corrected and in future that fresh choice adheres, as we all must, to the Privacy Commission's 
guide, guidance on mandatory record keeping for contact tracing. I haven't had a response back from them, but I bet it's going to be something like, the Privacy Commission never told us anything, because I doubt very much they actually told all businesses how to do it correctly. They've put the guidance on their websites, but I doubt very fucking much them or anybody else told them to go looking on this website for information on how to take the information correctly. So it falls back that it shit rolls downhill, all right? So if it doesn't come from the top, it's not going to carry on down to the rest of them. All right, it's, it's that simple. Um, moving on. And now I kind of get a little up myself, but bear with me. As I've been an avid public and street photographer, videographer for the last 10 years, I'm well aware that there is no expectation of privacy in public places and publicly accessible areas. For the correct definition of a public place, please refer to Section 2 of the Summary Offences Act 1981. And I supply them a link. And as it is every person in New Zealand's freedom and right to seek, receive and impart information and opinion of any kind in any form, Section 14 verbatim, affirmed in Section 14 of New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990, photography in a public place is 100% legal. For the correct definition, oh sorry, I trust you will rectify this unlawful activity promptly, which I am certain I will notice the next time I visit your establishment. As the Privacy Commission's office has confirmed that it is the individual business or organisation's responsibility to ensure customers' details are secure. In other words, they've left it all up to the individual businesses to go for a skate if someone wants to file a civil suit against them breaching their privacy. Which... I'm sure at least 40 or 50 people on my photograph might have an option to do if I wanted to take it further. <laughs> anyway, um, warmest regards, me. And yes, I supplied my phone number there and underneath is a, well, you can only see a blurred out picture. Alright, so, yeah. The next morning, I go down just to be nosy like because it's only been since 11.15 or say midnight that I sent this damn thing, 11.13 or whenever it was it says in my sent box here I've sent it, till about 9 o'clock in the morning when I made my merry backside down to um, Fresh Choice after getting myself some ciggies from the shop. Um, yes, I could have got them from Fresh Choice, but shop's cheaper. Um, so yeah, um, quite a shocker what I got to see and I will pass you over to me the next morning. See yous. G'day guys. <clears throat> so I'm here at Frischfields and I thought I'd see if there's a, a register still. So we'll see if they've changed things. Um, just a moment. They now have a billet box the following day. Isn't that good? Okay guys, so as you can see, they now have a billet box. All is well with the world. Privacy changed. So we'll see if they respond back to my email. But um, I must say they've jumped on that pretty quick because uh, that billet box wasn't there yesterday. So now there's a ballot box. Seems to have solved the problem. So, well done, Freshfield, uh, Fresh Choice in Waimaku. Um, it's a shame that you've had that register out there for almost a year and a half, breaching everyone's privacy. But it's good to see when it's brought to your attention, you jump on it pretty quickly. Because I sent that email uh, after 11 o'clock last night and this morning. Well, I'm, I've given it lunchtime. I'm guessing they swapped it out this morning because it was definitely there yesterday when I walked past. So, yeah. 
good to see. Well done. And um, I'll put a compliment your way for following the rules, finally. <laughs> it might have taken you 18 odd months, but now that it's been brought to your attention, well done. Thanks guys. Catch you later. Bye. Mm-hmm.